Yo, what is going on everyone? Hope you're doing well. My name is Dylan and welcome to the channel. So for this video, what I mainly want to go over is one of the newest designs that I just dropped on the website being this. This is the infantry overall in the Talus colorway, which is sort of like this dark textured gray. So there's a lot to go over with this pair of overalls, but a couple of other things that I wanted to cover in this video as well uh, is sort of telling the journey that it took in order to get to this design and where we are with the brand right now, as well as a little bit more about my design style personally, which is kind of rooted in these brutalist and cyberpunk themes, but a lot has changed as far as the textiles and fabrics that I use as well. So we're gonna be talking about that a little bit more in detail before before we get to this new design. So if you've seen my last video or if you followed me at all over the last few years, then you'll know that my first foray into making clothing started with this interest in technical apparel that had either a clear utilitarian or cyberpunk theme to it. So when I first launched my collection on interim.us, I was using sort of a mixture of different fabrics uh, the synthetics that I was using could give sort of like a cyberpunk theme to what I was creating and then the natural fabrics that I was using always had some sort of natural properties to them that made them inherently technical. Fabrics that I was using that were either cottons, uh, linens, or tensils. So they either had specific weaves that sort of blended into my overall utilitarian theme or they had sort of moisture wicking properties uh, or things of that nature. But the designs themselves and sort of like the silhouettes and and the overarching message of the brand always has a sort of utilitarian edge to it, which is really what I'm trying to convey with the clothing that I'm creating. So take this jacket, for example. This is the RBJ21 in the Botany colorway. Uh, I constructed this jacket out of a ripstop nylon material that feels super soft and luxurious to the touch. However, it does have its technical properties such as being windproof and water resistant so it can hold up in a pretty nice light rain as well as the lining which is a quilted nylon lining that is super warm and uh, has the same inherent properties that the nylon in the shell has as well. So yeah, I think that that's a great piece to showcase kind of from the first collection and really interesting to sort of contrast with where we're at now with the brand because I've taken a lot of what I used to do as far as using these technical materials and these technical fabrics and I sort of have pushed it farther in the direction of using things that have a lot more textural appeal as well as using a lot more natural fabrics and natural fibers. So I'm using a lot of cotton canvases, denim, uh, a lot of linens with interesting textural like weaves. I guess what I'm really trying to go for here is more of a feel with the clothing rather than just harping so much on the visual appearance or the technical components and aspects of the clothing. And so when I talk about this and I'm talking about sort of uh, utilitarian aspects of these clothes as well because cyberpunk clothing in general is really rooted in these themes of utility, I believe that the most straightforward and go-to utilitarian garment is definitely a pair of overalls. And that is why the overalls overall is actually the first garment that I ever had cut and sewn myself. And so going through the journey to get to this current pair of overalls, if we start at the very first pair that I ever made, I made it out of this really dense, almost kind of uncomfortable canvas material that was a beige color and sort of color blocked with a different black cotton, I think on the chest area, as well as for some cargo pockets. Uh, this pair of overalls I posted online, but honestly it was super ill-fitting and uh, really needed a lot of work. But I think that this first pair of overalls was a really important step for me into sort of forming my brand and forming the aesthetic of my brand, as well as to figure out garment construction in general and to understand fit for a garment like this a little bit better. So I took the approach from the very first pair of overalls and I applied it to a second pair where I used a nicer feeling uh, cotton ripstop material and definitely improved on the strap and buckling system, improved on the technicality overall of my sewing ability whenever I was making these. 
uh, and added a lot more elements to it that made it a little bit more practical and a little bit more actually wearable. So I did a photo shoot for this, but it was more so just like a prototype for what was to come for the brand. Uh, the first two iterations of these overalls that I had designed to become part of the brand eventually were definitely just always in the prototyping stage. But I will say that in using that cotton ripstop material from that second pair of overalls, what I did was I expanded on that and ended up with the overall that actually got launched on the website with the very first collection for Entrum, and that is the RUJ21. So this is the RUJ21 asymmetrical overall. So this is made out of a midweight cotton ripstop material. So it's definitely akin to a workwear piece, although it does have these really interesting asymmetrical elements, a cargo pocket on the right hand leg, as well as the chest plate, I think, which is the most obvious piece, cuts diagonally across the chest, and there's a zipper cargo pocket for the chest as well. Uh, Fidlock magnetic buckling system along with a nylon webbing strap and a D-ring at the end of that strap. And this is sort of a design element that you'll see that I've stayed really consistent with through creating different pairs of overalls, basically from the second pair up until now. There's also this really cool asymmetrical leg panel right here that is in gray as opposed to black like the rest of the overall. But yeah, I was super happy with this design. I sold quite a few of these whenever the brand first launched, uh, but I knew that there were still some things that could be improved upon as far as utility and fit goes. And I really wanted to take this, but sort of take it texturally to the next level. So basically, ever since the conception of this brand, I have been trying to design and develop the perfect pair of overalls to sort of fit my style and my utilitarian niche. And eventually what I ended up with was this, the infantry overall. So there's a ton of stuff going on with the infantry overall. Uh, this is a 100% cotton canvas uh, mid-weight textile. And I really wanted to use a mid-weight as opposed to an extremely heavy weight because I knew there were going to be a lot of elements going into this. I knew that there were going to be like a ton of pockets and a ton of add-ons uh, onto the overall itself. And I didn't want anything to get too uncomfortable or too bulky whenever I was creating it. But yeah, this fabric feels super soft and luxurious as well as really rugged. And that's another balance that I always try to strike with my clothing because not only do I want it to be utilitarian, I want to achieve a comfort level with it as well. Uh, this fabric has been pigment dyed for a vintage effect, so that is how we ended up with this sort of textured gray. Um, this is the Talus colorway on the website, and I will pretty soon be releasing this in a straight black colorway as well. Yeah, this thing is loaded with cargo space. So we have uh, two front pockets right here that are standard. We also have one tiny coin pocket that's underneath this front pocket on the right hand side. We have two uh, pockets on the chest plate. So one is a zipper pocket that's pretty small, but also it like comes out a little bit. So it's like slightly gusseted from the front right here, as well as a welt right above that, that opens up and makes the entirety of this chest plate a usable cargo pocket. In addition to that, we also have four cargo pockets on this thing. So we have two small Velcro cargo pockets on the left leg right here. And then we have one large cargo pocket right here that opens via a Velcro flap on the right leg. And then there's a welt pocket built into the front of this pocket as well. Not to mention two pockets in the rear. So yeah, there is a ton of carrying capacity on this thing, which was definitely a goal uh, since the initial design of this pair of overalls. But in addition to the cargo space, there's also a lot of really nice hardware and detail on this thing. So we have these really nice nylon webbing straps that I have been really consistent in using for a lot of my designs, specifically the overalls for sure, uh, as well as these magnetic fidlock slider buckles. And then we also have three stainless steel gunmetal D-rings here. If you wanted to put your keys right here on this belt loop without compromising the belt loop at all, or we have these up top right here. And if these are ever in the way, whenever you're tightening the straps for the buckling system, it's actually easy to fold them up and they clip into place 
using the magnetic fidlock buckles, which is super nice and helpful if you don't want anything really dangling off your chest right here. But yeah, speaking of more of the hardware, since we do have this small uh, 3D cargo pocket on the front chest plate that is a zip opening, this as well as the zipper in the side seam closure are both YKK Metalux Vislon zips, which means that like a standard YKK Vislon, they are made of plastic, but they're made to look like they're metal without getting the clunkiness or the rigidity out of metal zippers that may be difficult to open or close. So yeah, these zippers are super nice. Uh, they're pretty expensive, but they're really easy to use. So that's kind of why I wanted to incorporate them in this design to sort of give it that rugged visual effect but also comfort and ease of use. And lastly for the hardware, we have these two gunmetal snaps for the waist closure as well. So not only does this zip up in the side seam, you can also flap this over and then close it with these snaps to make sure that the waist is super nice and secure. But yeah, moving on from hardware, uh, the other elements of this overall that I really like personally that I've added ever since creating my other pair of overalls is for one, this pair has a crotch gusset. So unlike the previous overall iterations, I really wanted there to be extra depth and extra room in the crotch area, not only for mobility, but just for general comfort as well. So this crotch is gusseted for those things, uh, which is really nice and makes this even more comfortable, I think, than the previous iterations. And in addition to the crotch gusset, we also have these panels and seam details on the legs right here that give it articulation kind of like right below the knee area. So yeah, I also think it's visually really interesting as well to have panels right here uh, in the knee area and then split all the way down the front of the leg. But yeah, I guess the last thing to mention is I did also include this nice little carpenter style tool strap that is connected to both the out seam as well as underneath the rear patch pocket right here, just to give it that classic overall look. So yeah, this overall is a super baggy fit. Uh, right now it comes in several sizes on the website. So it has sizes from 28 all the way up to 36 and is always available in custom sizing. So I pretty much try to always offer custom sizing to my customers, uh, whether the garments come in a bunch of sizes or not just to give people the idea that there is that flexibility with what I'm creating because everything that I'm doing is completely made to order. So if you see something that you really, really want on the website, but it doesn't happen to come in your size, I am willing to work with you. Uh, if you just reach out, send me an email or just include your measurements and the notes for what you would like for your garment at checkout on the site. But yeah, that about does it for the infantry overall. Uh, please let me know if you guys enjoyed this video down in the comments below or if you have any further questions about the overall I would love to answer them and just like the last video I think I'm gonna sign off here by giving you guys just a few music recommendations of things that I've been listening to over the past month or so and I hope that you guys will enjoy that as well so thanks for tuning in uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel you'd be helping me out a ton uh, and if you want to follow me on Instagram I'm gonna leave everything in the description down below but the Instagram is intro coder and then the brand instagram is at entram.us which is the same as the website thanks for tuning in guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to catch you in the next one peace